Jaster! Is that...? Dr. Picacho, is that you? Steve? It, it can't be... Steve! Let's take care of these guys first. We cannot run away from this one. Here we go. Friend of yours? Dr. Donald Picacho. He's my father. Uh, rather, the scientist who made me. Really? But what could he be doing here? Doctor? Dr. Picacho? <laughs> it's Steve, Dr. Picacho. Uh, uh, is Steve? Am I dreaming? Is it really you? Of course it's me, Dr. Picacho. I haven't forgotten you. Not for a picosecond. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt such a tender reunion, but I think we ought to get out of here. Oh, you're right. My senses are going off too. The enemy is approaching. Can you walk, Doctor? I'm fine. Fine. Uh, my office is in here. Please, come with me. Why are you here in this factory? Well, you see, my son Mark passed away. No! Mark? That's not possible! It can't be true! Yes, Steve, it's true, I'm afraid. As you already know, he was the only family I had. I'll admit, it's been very difficult since his death. The whole experience has really taken its toll on me. I haven't been able to concentrate on my research or fulfill the kind of high-level technological development requests I get from the central labs. So I applied for a job managing this factory. But, Doctor, all of your talent! No, Steve. I'm an old man now, and I think like one. In this day and age, forward-thinking engineers like Jupus may be better suited to what lies ahead. That's not true. You're the best scientist around. I really believe that. Thank you, Steve. That's very kind. Although you are a robot, you are able to display such tenderness and care. In all my years, you may be the only truly great thing I ever created. Oh, sir. 
But listen, Steve. We don't have time to just sit around here. Right now, you've got to put a stop to Jupus Tuki. Please, go. Dr. Picacho. Okay, you're right. Come on, Mr. Rogue. Got it. <laughs> 